Google Maps timeline feature is going through a major change in the coming year. The feature, which was once known as location history, is transitioning from saving your data within the cloud to storing it on your smartphone instead. The feature has been confirmed to be shutting down on June 9th of next year, but today I can show you how to preserve your data so that it doesn't get automatically deleted. The Google Maps timeline feature has been something that many people have enjoyed using. It acts as a sort of logbook of all of the places that you've been, so you can go back and revisit those routes that you used to take. This data has been saved in the cloud. However, starting next year, they will transition it to be more private so that all of your data will be saved on the device itself. After this transition, you will no longer be able to access this data from the Google Maps website. And instead, you'll need to have access to your hardware. There's also a new auto deletion feature that will be implemented. So your visits and routes that are older than three months will be automatically deleted unless you take manual action to save those individual trips. And speaking of old data, once this deadline has passed, Google has set it up so that only your last 90 days of data will be migrated to your smartphone. To manually save more than 90 days worth of data, we first need to open up the Google Maps application. Then you're going to look at the bottom tab here and then tap on the U tab. And then you should be able to find an explore timeline link from within the visited section. After we tap on that link, you're going to get this alert about the transition of your timeline. So we're going to confirm that we are aware of these changes by tapping on next. And then from here, we get to scroll through this list and set how long we would like to keep our timeline data. So we can choose to keep it until we delete it, or we can select an auto delete feature. We have another option that allows us to continue getting personalized Google opinion rewards survey based on our timeline data. And then the last thing is we get to choose if we want to keep timeline on. So to stop using timeline and permanently delete all of our saved visits and routes, we tap on turn off, but we can choose to keep it on and store all of that data on our device instead. Google has been trying to transition this change away from a cloud storage solution for a while now. The previous deadline was December 1st of this year, but the company has decided to extend this by another six months. I highly doubt Google will want to delay this process even further. So if you value your Google Maps location history, then you definitely need to go through this process and save all of your data before June 9th. But let me know if you've been dreading this shutdown date all year, as I know a lot of people enjoy having their Google Maps location history accessible from the web. However, others may find it more appealing to have that data saved in a more private location. And please remember to like this video while also subscribing to the channel for more Android tips like this.